pissed off. Hey, hey. Um, so, Star Wars. It's like a thing, right? It's been with me for like a while. Like longer than I knew. Um, I had Star Wars things before I even know what? Before I even knew what Star Wars was, right? Uh, same thing with Jurassic Park and like Aliens. I had these things like before I knew or saw any of the movies, but I don't know. It's just, it's stuff that like makes its way into your life. And uh, it's a special blend, right? Of like way too adult for kids, but the packaging is like bright and happy and cool. And uh, they really did it, you know? <laughs> God. <laughs> anyway, Star Wars, right? Uh, it's like, it's got a classic hero's journey thing going on, but like, um, but it's like absolutely coded in like interesting thought provoking additional shit, like all the side characters and the background shit. And I mean, I guess that's everything now <laughs> it's everything has this, but I don't know. It's star Wars felt like a real world, you know, one with history. Um, one that you believed like you could make your way in. Right. Uh, it was very tangible. Uh, anyway, how about this golden bastard? Right. Uh, <laughs> he was another one of those like beanie baby hype things for me. Uh, I remember being little and being told like Leia and C-3PO are the rarest ones. Okay. And like no other figures from the line were gold. So, I mean, I guess I believed it. Right. And, and, uh, I only ever had one Leia. So, I mean, maybe it was true, but, uh, we're talking from the power of the force line, by the way, not, well, I think it's that one. Uh, not like the original eighties or seventies. I don't know. The ones that not, not the ones that look like, uh, what are those adventure people? <laughs> not those ones. The ones that look like they're jacked and they're like human bodies and they got muscles and even Leia's like muscly and C-3PO's muscly. He doesn't even have arm, um, like muscles, but he's muscly, you know? Um, as a kid, this is embarrassing. As a kid, I legitimately kept him in like uh, a jewelry box, like uh, with a little layer of like cotton on the bottom so he wouldn't get scuffed up. Uh, and I think that paid off, you know, <sighs> aside from the big, obvious belly scuff that he's got um, and it really fucking bugs the hell out of me. But yeah, I think he's pretty good aside from that. Standard, six articulation points, uh, head, arm, arm, waist, leg, leg, <laughs> you know, Uh what else did you really need in the 90s, though, right? I mean, this was top tier. I loved it. I was really down for it. Uh, he was just, he, I don't know. This figure in particular really just jived with me. You know, it was like my absolute jam. I, I, he, he was he was so interesting, you know? He was, he was shiny. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, there was something special. I, at this point, when I had the figure, I hadn't seen the movie yet. But I was like... Wow, this this shiny, shiny guy, you know? Anyway, um, the next few I'll just, like, bunch together because they're both, like, basically this one, but, like, covered in dirt and grime. Oh, and parts of them come off. Uh, this one's arm comes off, and I'm pretty sure this one's everything comes off. Yep. Yeah. Um, this one's legs actually just gave out last weekend. Um... <laughs> So they're now glued in place, which is sad, but what kind of poses are C-3PO going to pull off, you know? I mean, yeah, he's not known for his poses. They've all got the same, like, vac metal chrome effect, and I love them for that. It's, like, so good. Um, so then there's this one, uh, and it's, like, barely a figure. I mean, I think it came out with, like, a Chewie, if I'm not mistaken. Mis mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but who knows, right? Who could know? I don't know. I mean, it's the internet, but I mean, you know, I think it's supposed to light up, but, uh, it's been like 20 years. So give it a break. Um, <laughs> maybe more actually. I don't know how many, what, where am I? What? Uh, but, oh, here's an interesting fact, right? Well, it's not a fact. It's a guess by me, but it's uh, something interesting to note. Um, he's got like open molded hands, right? That's weird. It's really weird because it's just a pile of parts and it looks like they made them out of like existing action figure parts instead of just like a new sculpt that was just a pile. Like, wouldn't it have been much easier just to mold it with closed hands? I don't know. Just, just speculating. Just, just guessing. And then we enter the dark times. 
the prequel times. But no, I'm just playing. Um, yeah, we learned that like C-3PO <laughs> was like a kit that like Anakin found and like started building. <sighs> I mean, look, he's he's naked and he's chromeless and he's weird. Uh, his wires are all exposed. I mean, like, ha ha. But in reality, this is like an absurd amount of pain apps, you know, like absolutely unprecedented for the time. Like, I mean, the metal is painted, right? His main silvery metal. Uh, the wires are all painted. The eye details painted. The secondary metals also painted. It's crazy, like absolutely crazy. Like, imagine the paint sheet for this. Oh, my God. Like. Poor factory workers. Insane. And I don't think the payoff... I mean, it's good, but it is just like... It's it's fine. Uh, but, man, the next one is... Uh, basically the same thing, but he has removable casings, right? Um, it's not the best execution. Uh, the casings don't actually cling that well. There's little, like, peg holes, but they're not the tightest connection. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that... <laughs> the casings like fit onto this nude one let's say that again without like spitting everywhere i wanted to tell you that like the casings on this one they like fit onto the totally nude one but they don't like it looks like it could fit but without modification they just won't stay on eight parts in total come off that's pretty neat uh and then we're on to the clone wars version or what's the name of it? the yeah the clone wars the cartoon the digital cartoon digital cartoon um he's like all thin and stylized and his eyes are uh light piped it's pretty sweet uh he's easily the most articulated of the ones i've got and uh his head can pop off i love a good ball joint you know um then we got this little guy he's uh, a real rubbery and i have no idea where he came from he's like uh i think he came with those those um the clear ball ones that were like blind bagged, but I don't know. And who was a nineties slash eighties kid that didn't have a Pez or six, you know, like, look at this shit. Uh, he's molded in like a semi swirly gold metallic plastic. It like doesn't match any of the others, but it is just a candy dispenser. So like cool out, you know, chill, chill down, cool, Ch chill out and cool off. <laughs> And lastly, we got one of the many Black Series versions of C-3PO. Uh, he's the version that doesn't have elbows. I think because of Forlom, they like added elbows to the articulation on newer ones, but this one doesn't have it. I could be totally wrong here, um, but I don't know. <sighs> he's fine. Uh, imagine this in gold vacuum form chrome, though. Oh my god, wow. That would be great. Uh, currently, he has one silver leg. It's fine. It's great. Um, he's got, like, his vacant but still slightly haunted expression, you know? I think they nailed it. All right. Uh, that's all of them I got, anyway. Um, you know, I know there's, like, an actual billion C-3PO's out there. This is by, like, no means a cohesive rundown of them all, but this is just the ones that I've managed to hold on to over the, like, what is it, 30 years I've been on this planet? Yeah. Uh, my fave's got to be the original. You don't just put a toy in a jewelry box, rest it gently upon a cotton poof, and have it not be your favorite, you know? Um, <laughs> probably slightly too much information, but, uh, oh yeah, happy Star Wars Day. Uh, all right.